Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Former NASCAR driver Bobby East was killed in a stabbing attack at a gas station in Orange County. The suspect was fatally shot by police during the arrest. On Wednesday night, police were called to the 76 gas station where they found East on the ground with a stab wound to the chest. He was transported to the hospital where he died. Six people died and several were injured after nearly two dozen cars piled up on a Montana highway. 15 cars and six semi-trucks crashed yesterday after high winds created a dust storm causing zero visibility. The road was closed for several hours. Four and a half years after Nicholas Cruz killed 17 people at Parkland's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, his trial is now reaching a jury starting Monday with opening statements. The jury is now reviewing horrific evidence and will decide whether the 23-year-old shooter will be sentenced to death or life without the possibility of parole. The international terminal at SFO is back open after a bomb threat forced people to evacuate last night. Thousands of travelers were forced into the streets outside the terminal while police looked into a report of a possible explosive package. Police say one man is in custody and that an investigation is underway. Infamous drug lord Rafael Caro Quintero, who was behind the killing of a US DEA agent in 1985, was captured Friday, nearly a decade after walking out of a Mexican prison. Caro Quintero was arrested after a search dog named Max found him hiding in a wooded area. There were two pending arrest orders for him as well as an extradition request from the U.S. government. The Greenbrier fire in Butte County led to evacuations this afternoon. About 15 minutes later, the evacuation orders were lifted after Cal Fire was able to control the flames. One structure has been destroyed in the fire. A wildfire in southern France now reaching nearly 25,000 acres. It's been burning for five days now, destroying forest land and displacing thousands of people as firefighters continue to battle the blaze. A new lawsuit claims that Skittles are unsafe to eat. The lawsuit alleges that Skittles are made with a known toxin called titanium dioxide, which is unfit for human consumption. In 2016, the company said it was planning on getting rid of the chemical compound from its products. The lawsuit claims it's still being used. After an over 50-year career, songwriter and performer Elton John is retiring. The British pianist and vocalist wrapped up his career with a farewell tour. The 75-year-old legend kicked off his North American farewell tour last night in Philadelphia. The last pod of 30 Guiana dolphins living in Rio is now the focus of a group of scientists who hope to somehow save them from extinction. Once, thousands of Guiana dolphins swarmed the iconic Guanabara Bay. Now, there are about 30 of them left due to pollution, overfishing, and habitat loss. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.